we got the axle, the first axle in that was missing. It's already bolted down. All I gotta put is the fluid and put on this plastic piece to cover the boot. It goes right there. First thing you gotta do is lift the four wheeler up and take the wheel off. Next thing you do is remove the two bolts for the brake caliper. Now you take out the three bolts that hold in the cap and drain the old fluid. Now straighten out this pin and then pull it out. Now pull everything out in order and you're going to put it back in the same way. First is the nut, then there's a washer, then there is a bearing, then you could pull off the hub. Be careful because it will be leaking. Then there is a another bearing on the opposite side. Then there is the Hillary clutch. Then there is the one of the pins that holds the clutch and another bearing after you unscrew everything there is a pin right there as you can see you gotta get a punch and punch it out so you could take that axle off the differential once you take that pin out this is what it looks like your axle is ready to be removed and then you just pull it out from from here. This is what mine looks like. Once you take the axle out, this is my new axle. You just unscrew it, and you can start installing it. Just clean it up and start installing. Before you put the axle in, make sure there is one of these bearings. And then you can slide it in. And align it. Now, hit in the pin. Once do you, you install it, just make sure you line up the pins and I got a new one so you put that in and bang it in right there until it's all the way flush after you put in the bearing in the back you put in another bearing first then you put your armature plate with the three prongs pointing out then you use your you get your Hillard clutch and insert it into the three prongs. Be careful so it didn't break apart. Okay. Then you get another bearing. Then you could insert your hub. Then another bearing. Get your washer and your nut. After you get all this down, torque this nut down, and then you could use this pin to stick it in. There's a hole. Then use some pliers 
to bend it. After that, just clean off your cap and you can screw it back on. After that, you have to fill in the fluid. Use a H 316th hex key and screw it. Looks something like that. Clean it off. Then you fill in your fluid and uh, it's full at the four uh, o'clock four position. You gotta fill it up and then just turn it to the four o'clock position until it starts leaking out and that's enough fluid.